All right, Brian, just want to show you what radio is doing before we do anything to it and open it up. Uh, over here, let's see here. There's a carrier, about six watts. Let me get this microphone out of the way here. Let's see what it's doing. This is going to be your average power swing now. Audio. About 12 watts, it looks like. Here's peak power now. Audio. It's right about 35. Uh, but what I did notice is I'm guessing either limiters cut here or someone just cranked the modulation pot all the way open. It's way over modulated if you watch on the scope here. Audio. See how it's all flattened off at the top there? That's all distortion. Uh, it means probably more than likely the limiter's cutting it. Here's it on the spectrum analyzer. Audio. All those spikes to the side are, are uh, interference to the other channels. That's the entire CB band right there from left to right, channel 1 to 40. There's 19 right in the middle. So anything that goes past the side of that uh, is interference to other channels. Now if you turn the mic gain down, this is probably a little closer to what it should look like. Audio! And even that's still a little distorted. But, uh, so we'll open it up, check it out, see what we can do, and we'll also see if we can get that speaker problem fixed for you with the speaker cutting in and out. All right, we'll be back. Okay, Brian, we're back. I just wanted to show you here. I've, I just found, in fact, the limiter has been cut. That's this part right here. I don't know how you can see it in the camera there, but D11 has been cut. So that's what's causing that distortion and, and bleed over and whatnot. Well, we'll put that back in and get the modulation set right. Uh, just wanted to show you that. All right, we'll be back. Okay, Brian, we got the... Uh, limiter put back in now and the modulation set right and I just want to show you what it's doing for power on the meter uh, before we do the MOSFET upgrade on it that way you get a comparison before and after so I got the t test connector hooked up here and it runs into the analyzer that's so I can inject the tone into it uh, so here's going to be your dead key A little over six watts. And about almost six and a quarter dead key. And then we'll put some modulation on it. Let's see here. Alright. So they're looking at just under ten watts average there. And about twenty seven peak. There you have it. I'll be back after the modification and show you what it does then. Okay, Brian, we got the radio all done for you. Got your new limiter put in right here. And then the uh, new IRF 520 MOSFET. It's the same final that the uh, new Galaxy radio is using. So we'll see what it's doing for power over here. About 4 watts, dead key. Put some audio to it. And uh, there you go, about 37 peak watts. There's your average power up here. About 12 watts or so. A nice clean signal this time, no flat topping on it. Well I'll show you now with the, the microphone, show you what it's doing so you can hear what it sounds like. Alright, I got the microphone on there. Audio! Audio! Hello! One, two, three, four, five. Audio! That's average power, and we'll switch it back to peak again. Audio! One, two, three, four. Hello! Audio! And just under 40 watts. This one came out pretty good. 
All right, there you have it.